Hey, it's Carl at carkawhite.com and sidehustleartist.com. In this video, you'll discover how to handle criticism as an artist. And from someone who has had my fair share of criticism from exhibiting my work over the years, you'll have a solid mindset shift by the end of this video when it comes to dealing with criticism as an artist. I don't receive much criticism for my work these days, but I have experienced my fair share over the years. And I recall an inter interesting incident some years ago. I received uh, some criticism from a lady who wandered into my art exhibit and labelled one of my paintings as absolute tripe. In other words, it was a polite way of saying crap. And I openly laughed and I said to her, I admire that you have the guts to say so, but you should know that I merely view criticism as the voice of inadequacy. And I said that with a very broad smile on my face. And if you know me, then you'll know that I'm a little bit cheeky like that. And she was completely lost for words. I think my comment may have even helped her determine as to why she was so critical all the time, perhaps, or at least I hope so. But the point is this, I've never taken criticism personally and I never will. The fact is some people don't like some forms of art and as a result, openly voice their opinion. And there are, of course, a lot of unhappy people out there too who simply, they don't understand what you're doing as an artist. So don't get me wrong, I think a bit of criticism can be quite healthy in moderation. But if you truly believe in what you're doing, then criticism will roll off you like water off a duck's back. And criticism, it will only really have any effect on you if what you're doing isn't honest. And if you're not working through your true authentic self, and if you are trying to be something that you're not, in order to do what you do well, you have to bring your entire self to the table. And the problem associated to criticism for a lot of artists is that they rely heavily on expressing who they are through their art. So when that is scrutinized, it can feel like an arrow through the heart, so to speak. But for those artists who tend to feel that way, if their work or their artistic persona is criticized, you should remember what I always say to my artist friends, and that if you're an artist that's truly at one with their creative outlet, then this invisible weapon called criticism, it won't alter your path if they remain true to their purpose. And as an artist, you've probably never worked harder, more passionately, or sacrificed as much money, time, in any other area of your life as much as you have done with your art. And I bet you are quite happy, at least a lot more happier doing your art than doing anything else. And here's the thing, who really cares if some people don't take you seriously? There are people who simply do not take me seriously, and I know this for a fact, and I don't let it bother me. And the reason why is because I have collectors and new buyers who are spending their hard earned money to, to buy my work. Those people are taking me very seriously, and I take their purchases very seriously. I take them, very seriously. And here is something else as well. Quite often when people buy from you, they are drawing themselves even closer to you. They are unconsciously valuing you and your work even more because, because of their financial commitment to you. And they are searching for every justifiable reason why they love you and your work because they've committed to hanging it on their lounge room wall for everybody to see. And these are the people whose opinions you nurture and hold in the deepest respect, not your critics. The people who do not take you seriously, they quite often don't really take their own life quite seriously. Or quite often these are the very people who know they are running through life without a purpose and it confuses them, it scares them and it pretty much, it's all they think about all day long, all day. And sometimes they vent that frustration by being critical of others on how they live their lives. So quite often they think what you do is just a pipe dream or a hobby and it's open to indiscriminate scrutiny. And that's okay. They don't need to understand your true heart as an artist. They don't really need to know why you are walking the road that you walk. And you should never have to feel as though you need to justify what you do because just being you is enough. And if people do not get that, then those people are not worthy of your energy your time or even your money. See, the thing is, there isn't a lot of time, at least not in the big scheme of things. So if we have such little time left to live our life, why do we concern ourselves so much with what the people who don't take you seriously say instead of focusing on the people who want us to move forward? So try this, just try focusing on the people who love what you do. They are out there, by the way. You should know that, it's just the way it is. If you stick around long enough, you, you, you'll see. And let those who don't take your art seriously alone. Leave them alone, just stay out of the way and get on with doing your work. 
it's really none of your business what they think of you anyway. Just try thinking about it that way. It kind of settles you down a little bit more. And in a lot of respects, history is, is at fault for the whole, how can we take art serious when most artists die broke syndrome? It's really just an old age struggle of thought. It's not really all the heckler's fault, but this is the very reason why you want to try and contribute to change and change that norm. You want to contribute in helping to open the lazy eyes of the world and perhaps push value into other people's lives the best that you can. And that's why we live. We live essentially to advance and that's why you paint, you sculpt or you draw and you paint to seek that sense of advancement in your own life and your method is through creativity. Okay, if you wanna be taken more seriously as of today, go and do this if you've not done so already. Get yourself a blog. Your blog is your virtual gallery for your art. It's also your voice and it's much like a static artist statement for the world to see. And submit posts to your blog on a regular basis and point to those who don't get what you do. Point it to them if you must. Then they'll be keen to see and understand that you truly are endeavoring to be the best that you possibly can. If you don't take your art seriously, start doing so. Stick to time schedules and focus on your work because nobody is going to take you or your art seriously if you're not committed to doing it. And remember something about yourself. You have taken a leap of faith that many will never take in their lives. So cherish your bravery and go get your art into the hands of those people who really want it. They are waiting, you'll see. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down because that's okay as well. Better still, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me you got some value out of this video. And please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I have new content available. And thanks so much for watching and I do look forward to connecting with you again real soon and helping you advance your career as an artist. Till next time, your art buddy, Carl.